हेलो एवरी वन गौरी हियर होपफुली यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टूडे सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट आर एन ए वर्ल्ड हाइपोथिस विच इज सिग्निफिकेंट इन द इवोल्यूशनरी हिस्ट्री ऑफ लाइफ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एलेक्जेंडर रिच फर्स्ट प्रपोज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द आर एन ए वर्ल्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू एंड वॉल्टर गिरबर्ट कॉइंट द टर्म इन नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स द सेंट्रल डॉगमा ऑफ मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी सजेस्ट दैट द प्राइमरी रोल ऑफ आर एन ए इज टू कन्वर्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टोर्ड इन डी एन ए इन टू प्रोटीन्स बट इन रियालिटी देयर इज मच मोर टू द आर एन ए स्टोरी ऑल लिविंग सेल्स कंटेन राइबोन्यूक्लिक एसिड एब्रीविएटेड एज आर एन ए न्यूक्लिक एसिड विद प्रॉपर्टीज कंपेरेबल टू दोज ऑफ डी एन ए हाउएवर आर एन ए इज ऑफ अन सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड अनलाइक डी एन ए Instead of the deoxyribose present in DNA, the backbone of an RNA molecule is made up of alternating phosphate groups and the sugar ribose. Each sugar has one of the four bases: adenine, uracil, cytosine, or guanine attached to it. Cells contain a variety of RNA, including transfer RNA, messenger RNA, and ribosomal RNA. In addition, some RNAs are involved in regulating gene expression. Certain viruses use RNA as their genomic material. A key step in the origin of life was the evolution of a molecule that could copy itself. Once it was discovered that RNA could both carry information and cause chemical reactions like those that would be required to copy a molecule. So, RNA became the prime suspect for the earliest self-replicating molecule. In fact, biologists hypothesize that early in life's history RNA occupied center stage and performed most jobs in the cell storing genetic information copying itself and performing basic metabolic functions this is the RNA world hypothesis today these jobs are performed by many different sorts of molecules like DNA RNA and proteins mostly but in the RNA world RNA did it all the RNA world hypothesis describes how before the existence of dna and cells rna strands formed naturally within the primordial soup and eventually went on to become the first simple living cells eventually self copying rna emerged the structure of the rna would have influenced how quickly and successfully it could replicate until one self copying rna outcompeted the rest through natural selection Reproduction either sexual or self replication is a crucial requirement for early life so these self replicating strands could be considered the very first line form The RNA world begins in the primordial soup like many other theories on the origins of life the primordial molecular soup filled with free floating nucleotides the constituents of DNA and RNA as a result of spontaneous chemical reactions The first RNA strands were formed from these floating nucleotides. However, they were soon broken down again and then rebuilt in a cycle. RNA strands that were more stable grew longer and bound more nucleotides until their rate of growth exceeded that of their rate of degradation. That is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you.